dear fellow coders welcome to one little coder if you have worked on nlp there is a very high probability that you might have come across sentiment analysis so sentiment analysis in itself may not be useful entirely why because if you do not know the word or phrase or token whatever you would like to call it that actually cause the particular sentiment then probably you are left with some continuous figure or a, a boolean value which says either positive or negative but what is very important for a particular organization is extracting the particular phrase or a word that can help you understand what led to the sentiment for example if you are uh, having an app let's say an android app on an ios app somebody is coming to your uh, play store or uh, apple store and then writing a negative review about you you need to actually know which part of that review is actually negative otherwise all you have is you know you can build some graph saying that this is negative but your product team cannot do anything with that particular review because it might be a lot of reviews for them to go through and this is where it is quite helpful and we are going to look at an open source project which will help you extract uh, emotional phrase which means like it's going to extract positive or negative sentiment phrases from a given text so this particular open source project that we are going to look at it it's called uh, twitter emotions so this project has been open sourced by uh, shahul so shahul yes so thanks to shahul for making this project open source to us so this project currently uses pytorch and hugging face and you already get pre trained model for you to use uh, by default but if you want to train it on your custom model it's quite simple so let's go step by step so first of all let's see what is this and then how we can use it first of all why do you need this thing like i said let's say you're going to deal with uh, tweets related to your organization and then you want to report it back to your product manager you want to report it back to your category manager or you want it to use it yourself for, to understand what kind of text or what kind of natural language that your customers are writing lead to a particular emotion whether it is positive whether it is negative how do you do that either you have to build your own um, emotion recognizer or emotion phrase extractor or you can simply use this open source project which comes with a docker container itself so let's start uh, understanding how we can replicate this on a local machine for simplicity i have already done this thing so that uh, you don't you you would follow a full proof tutorial which means uh, there is no mistake that is going to happen on the way the first step that you have to do is you have to clone this project so let me fire up my terminal so you can see that the very first uh, step the very first step is you need to use a uh, git clone so you need git clone that will help you clone it after you do git clone the next thing is you need to enter into the particular directory so after you do git clone so you enter into the particular directory so these things do not change because git clone is from the git git uh, website uh, or the git url that they have hosted this project and when you want to enter the directory it is the same name and then the next project is you need to uh, enter the you need to build the docker container so this docker container so for for this you need to have docker on your machine so by default if you download docker on mac at least you get it with docker compost so they have you have already got the docker image here which is uh, yeah you have got the docker uh, image details so all you have to do is you have to build a uh, docker so most likely you may not need sudo um, in my case it was not required but if you need uh, you might need admin rights to the machine that you are uh, accessing so once you build the docker image so then the next step is you have to just run the python python app and for us to get some understanding about what is the python user interface contains you can simply uh, see uh, the requirements.txt when you go inside it you can see that uh, we need numpy pandas flask as the interface um, that's used for and then you've got uh, torch and hugging face transformers so now that we know that um, uh, how easy it is to do let me quickly show you the steps and then you can also do it yourself like i said first of all uh, git clone then enter into the directory then you build a docker image that takes a couple of uh, like couple of minutes i would say uh, depending upon how soon uh, how fast is your internet connection because it's going to download the packages and it's also going to download some pre trained model so once once you are done with this thing the next step that you want to do is you want to just copy this simply and then paste it and then you have to just run it so let me just make it slightly up like this paste it and then run it okay 
I don't need sudo for this. So I'm going to just paste it without that. So like I said, it works without sudo itself. So like, uh, so I've just fired it up. It is going to run on uh, the triple nine of a local host. So let's see if, uh, if it runs once it starts running. So if you want to see the logs, you can also go to your Docker. Uh, once you fire up Docker, you can see the actual, uh, this Docker image running. So you can see the logs there as well. But uh, if we wait for a couple of uh, seconds, I should say, then you will see this uh, app getting started. Once it starts, you would see it in the local host colon nine 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 and run it okay right now okay it's not let's you can see that it is loading which means it's going to open soon yeah at this moment you can see that uh, it says twitter emotion emotion phrase extractor so it has got a bunch of components where you have got a text box where you enter the text then you want to you have to select whether you want the positive phrase or negative phrase neutral phrase i wouldn't say this works perfectly um, as with every other sentiment recognition which is also still a problem like a lot of researchers try to solve but it does its job uh, and uh, the good thing is you can also fine tune it for your own data set for example which means like if you want to do it for a finance data set if you want to do it for a uh, a delivery uh, you know food delivery data set if you want to do it for any other data set you can still possibly do it which is what we are going to see how to do it in the next section so right now let's quickly get some reviews let me copy this and then see what it says paste it here and then extract for positive word and it says that sure an expensive movie that is my review so doesn't have much negative things to say uh let's copy this and then paste it and then say I want negative review and then okay it says bad it has captured the word bad as negative review paste it and then look for some negative and then submit it so it says unfortunately is the word so what now you can actually do is if you want to get the entire string or a sentence that uh, resulted in this particular so it's very easy for you to use a simple rejects and then say wherever you have got negative so you can just extract the text and then it says but unfortunately every other part of sucks so it's it's quite simple so now once you're done with this thing you can simply you know close docker and then the next thing that you want to understand or particularly interested in is if you want to use it uh, with your own data if you want to you know train your own model it's quite simple the process uh, starts similar so you clone the repository you enter into the directory and then you install the required packages which is just what we saw now primarily you have um, Primarily, you have got, uh, you know, NumPy, Pandas, tokenizers uh, from Hugging Face Transformers, from Hugging Face PyTorch, Scikit-Learn, Flask, model fine-tuning phase or training phase. So, where you can import the class Twitter emotions and then uh, you can in initiate uh, emotions and then you can give your input text, whatever you want to train it on and then you just give it and then it will train it and then you have the model ready for yourself. So this is uh, this is quite a simple uh, but very useful project for anybody who wants to get started with uh, their own uh, kind of you know sentiment extraction or a phrase extra emotion extraction uh, project and uh, the advantage is uh, it's quite easy for you to distribute because it already comes with a, a Docker file. Make some changes, add something to your requirements or txt, and then distribute it to anybody because you have got a Docker file. And also you have an ability to you know find unit for your own purpose. But other than that, uh, it uses PyTorch and Hugging Face, which means you can very simply get into the code, which is here, Twitter emotions, emotions, and then you can start using whatever new Hugging Face model that you want to use. So you can have a look at uh, what kind of model they're currently using, and then you can start, you know, deciding. So I think here they're using Roberta model, but if you think there is some other efficient model that is latest model from hugging face model hub that you want to download it it is going to be quite simple and easy for you to download the latest model and then start using it because uh, of course you know it's it's it's, it's part, uh, like they're using hugging face which means they've got a huge ecosystem and then you can start using it for your own purpose so this gives a lot of flexibility for anybody who wants to you know build such a solution and also it comes with a ui so there are a lot of good advantages 
the only disadvantage i would say that at this moment the the, the current um, default application doesn't look super awesome uh, but there is a lot of improvement that uh, anybody can do it very easily and then if you think that you can contribute to this project please please go ahead and then raise a pull request other than that if you find this project useful please make sure that you start this repository that would mean a lot to the developer also give a shout out to the developer on uh, twitter or linkedin or wherever you would like to share about this thing once again thanks to shock shahul for um, making this open source project and also of course thanks to hugging face as awesome uh, they are uh, making us you know all of us do apply it and it'll be much much easier and faster if you have any questions please let me know in the comment section otherwise please give a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel and i love it until next video take care of yourself